So here we have the latest version of my computer-based freight management tool. This time I've created it in Google Sheets. Reason being that it's free and also it will not only run on my laptop computer it will also run on my phone and on my tablet computer out in the garden and they all synchronize so that as I change it on one device it gets changed on all the others. So how does it work? Well it works in the same sort of way that all my previous versions of this have worked. Firstly I can choose the length of train that I want to generate. Let's have this one with a length of 10, 10 wagons. And then when I click the button here off it goes and creates a random selection of wagons uh, with their descriptions it shows where they are at the moment and then using a weighted calculation where they could move to next. So let's assume that yes this is an interesting train I'm going to make it up and it's the pickup goods it's going around the garden and I drop off one of the wagons at Peckforton. So here we go I'll move that wagon from where it was before, Beeston Market, it's now at Peckforton. Uh, I'll also move the next one and there it goes, that's now moved to Peckforton. Um, that's a bit tedious having to do that one by one so let's assume that I've gone round, I've now moved all these wagons from Beeston Castle to Beeston Market so instead of collect, selecting one at a time I'll move all of those. So all of those that are intended to go to Beeston Market have now been moved. Or alternatively I can move the whole lot. So move all the wagons so rather than keep consulting the phone while I'm out in the garden let's make sure they all move. So that's basically how it does it. Uh, not only does it move it here it moves the wagon on this part of the spreadsheet. So the location that it is, is at now is the location that I've just sent it to. Here we can create uh, new wagons. I can add a wagon to the bottom of the list. Uh, at the moment I've only got 21 because I've just been testing it. Uh, in reality I've got about uh, 70 wagons. So we give it uh, a, a wagon identity, so a, a coding, uh, then a name, then I can describe what the wagon is, what it's carrying and so on and what it looks like so that when I'm out in the garden I know which wagon I'm referring to. And then what type of wagon it is. Is it a coal wagon, a timber wagon, um, does it have a mixed load, is it something that's going to go to and from the brewery or from the fruit farms at Bukeley and so on and so forth. And there are the locations. So if I move down here to the next tab, here's the heart of the, uh, the computerized freight generation system because each type of wagon has a different weighting depending on where it could go on the system. So beer wagons, so anything that's related to the brewery, obviously it'll go to Beast Market which is the main station so there's a high likelihood it'll go there, a 7 out of 9 chance. Um, Beast and Castle it's going to a high likelihood it'll go there because that's where the brewery is but it could uh, a beer wagon could also go to Peckforton because it may need to deliver something to the pub it's not as likely to go there um, it could go to Bukeley um, it could go to Bickerton it won't go to the copper mine not a good idea for the workers at the copper mine, copper mine to have too much beer and so you can see the coal wagons have a fair likelihood of going to virtually anywhere. They can even go to the copper mine because some of the machinery there does require coal. Uh, and timber that's more likely to go to Peckforton because that's where the sawmill is but it could be picking up uh, timber from any of these other locations. Uh, now the locations here I can create, uh, I've, I've set it so I can create up to 15 locations but well it, it could, can uh, create an infinite number um, 
as many as you can fit on the spreadsheet um, and then here we come back to the train uh, uh, the, the tab that generates the new train services now you'll notice that there is a button here um, on Google Sheets you can create buttons and use those to uh, generate events but unfortunately for reasons best known to themselves um, Google won't allow these buttons to do anything on a phone or a tablet which is a shame because clearly on a phone or a tablet you want something big that you can hit with well with my fat fingers um, and so that's why I've had to put the actions triggered by these drop down menus so I can create a train here there we are creating a new train and as you saw before I can shift it from where it is now to the location that it was intending to go behind all this is a bit of script um, it's not an enormous amount of script actually um, as you can see there's uh, well, where are we only about uh, 150 rows of script um, now what I intend to do is to put a description of how I created this on my website uh, on my blog so that if anybody wants to have a go at doing it themselves they can read the description as to how to set up the various pages and then if you want to you can download the code and insert it yourself and then tinker with it to get it to do what you want it to do I'll try and explain it um, I'm, I'm not a great expert in computer programming I just pick things up as and when I need them but I'll try and put a description on there as to what each of these little statements does uh, that's basically all there is to it uh, I hope some of you may find it useful Thank you.